Okay, this is Whiskey and Weapons, and today we're testing different types of whiskey glasses and how they affect the smell of the whiskey. Should be an interesting one, this. Shall we have a little look at what different types of glasses we have? What have we got then? Well, first of all, shall we pick the classic one? This is the one that you'll probably see in films. There's a guy sat at the bar, a couple of cubes of ice in. I'll just say the guy probably doesn't have a clue what he's doing putting ice in whiskey. But there you go. That's your first one. That's a crystal tumbler. You're right, you say that all the time, don't you? Very classic. Then we've got a nice little shot glass. Looks like a taillight holder, that one. But what's it for? Shots. This is true. Not really for whiskey. You're not knocking back your whiskey, are we? Here, we've got a classic mixer glass. This is a Jack Daniels glass. Again, it's the tumbler style. Heavy bottom, isn't going to knock over. Um, tapered towards the top. Not in over, it's tapered out over. Not ideal for... A dram. It would work at a push, but not ideal. Like you say, more suited towards uh, your classic mixes. Then we've got an interesting one. I like to call it a nipple glass. A nipple glass. It's a weeble glass. A weeble glass. I don't think that's the technical term, but do you remember the old saying, weebles wobble but we don't fall down? <laughs> nice. You're not putting your whiskey in that, let's be honest. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's a novelty. It is. Um, but to be honest, it's supposed to be designed not to spill your whiskey. But by the time that's up, leveled itself up, you're going to have half on the floor. You look at your classic tumbler. Definitely not spilling as much in that area. True enough, true enough. Should we get some of these filled up? Yeah, let's give it a go. We're featuring the Ben Bracken 22. Nice dark whiskey, so you'll see it in the glass. Okay. And should we compare this with the classic Snifter glass? Well, I think if you like your whiskey, you've got to use a Snifter glass. This is um, a fluted top. As you can see, it tapers up towards the top, which concentrates the smells, allows you to enjoy the, the fragrance of the whiskey a lot more. Um, again, not so thick bottomed like these ones, your whiskey's going to come up to room temperature a lot quicker, um, which brings out the floral notes in it. So those aromas are really concentrated around the nose when you're taking a drink. They certainly are. Well, we're going to be here quite some time drinking all of this, as you can see. Should be fun. And this lad doesn't like to do half measures. Oh no, we've got to get some whiskey in there. You want the aromas to... Ah, there's e some aroma e on that, e isn't Easy there? tiger. <laughs> Where's the ice? Exactly, it can stop where it's, where it's at at the minute. And of course one for me. Just going to do a little note on that actually, I'm just going to quickly say about ice. People put ice in whiskey. Now, what it does is it dials back the flavours of the whiskey. You find a lot of beginners do it, they drop ice in, they see it in the films, and it makes the whiskey more palatable because it takes away um, a lot of the flavour from it, it, takes away a lot of the burn, and it also wards it down. If you like your whiskey, stay away from ice. On that point, whiskey rocks, what's your thoughts? Again, that's another one. Uh, if anybody, whiskey. if you ask anybody who likes whiskey, they always say you leave it to come up to room temperature. And that's another thing. When you sat holding your glass, you'll find, like, a, especially with a small glass, like which is a shot glass, it has a slight float on it, but with your classic fluted uh, nose and glass, when you start holding it and it comes up to room temperature, the aromas um, that come off it are much better. You get a lot more flavour, a lot more smell. I just, I don't see the point in cooling the whiskey down. No, no. What's your views though? Well, if you've got a terrible whiskey and you want to change that flavour profile, by all means put some whiskey rocks in it. Well, there is that. It does, it makes a bad whiskey more palatable. Um, but I'm, I'm sure there are, there are other things that you could do. I think that's another a video, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do a video on that. On whiskey um, rocks. On, on whiskey rocks, things you can do to uh, make a bad whiskey more palatable. Or a good whiskey better. Exactly. Let's have a look. Okay. So this is Just the, the classic one. This is going to be the benchmark, the isn't benchmark, it? The benchmark, uh-huh. Lovely. Oh. Lovely. The flavours are concentrated at the top there. When you take a, a sip, you can smell at the same time. You're getting that full, full picture of the whiskey, aren't you? Oh, I love that. I really do. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So, should we see how that compares to our... Do you want to go for that one first? Yeah, let's may as well. this Weibo one out the way. The spilly glass, I will call it. Instantly, you get less of the aromas. And the reason being, the aromas aren't concentrated at the top like they are on the small fluted glass. So, instead of getting the whiskey uh, vapour itself, you're getting a lot of air drawn in as well. You find yourself putting your face further into the glass, really getting in there, don't you? You do. Um, it's nowhere near as easy to pick out the distinct um, individual flavours as is is what it is when you're using a fluted glass. Like, when you smell that, I, I smell in the fluted glass, one of the first things I smell is the, the tannic leathery notes and then a real like orange marmalade kind of smell, yes. like zesty marmalade. You tell me if you get that in there, I, I just don't. If you do, you've, you've really got to work for it. No. When I get in there to get that smell, I'm getting more alcohol than anything else. It, it gives you that burning sensation on the nose. Not getting the wonderful flavours you get from that little glass. Yeah. See, I, I suspect Shame. that we're going to have the same thing with this glass, this glass, and this glass. Where, because they're quite wide open topped, um, tapered going out over, I expect that you're going to have the, the same thing where you're just not going to pick up the smells. So, should we do these three first? Yeah. And then we'll go to the two narrower top ones, this and this, and then we'll go back to our fluted ones. Okay. So, next we've got the, uh, the branded glass here. What would you call this one? I don't know, it's just a tumbler, isn't it? A general tumbler. Do you know that could be a famous grouse for all I'm spelling? Yeah. A blended whiskey, it could be anything. Like you say, you practically have to fall into it to smell it. And when you do, you just get that such a big hit of alcohol, it, it you just ruins not, the aroma. You're just not getting it, are you? I tell no, you what, we'll, I tell you what we'll do. We'll put this one in the background, because that, for me, is a no-no. Okay. Same with this one, yeah? I tend to agree. Do you want to go for the classic crystal one? Okay, now now we're looking like we're drinking whiskey, aren't we? Yeah, see, it's semi-acceptable, isn't it, to have a, a whiskey like that? In a glass like that when you're at a bar? You know, the only place you should see one of these glasses? Where's that? That's on the dresser at the back of the house. It is, it's a classic. Uh, you get the, the set down you the two glasses uh, and the crystal yeah. decanter. Looks nice. On the mantelpiece. Again, there's just nothing there. It's it's when you get a decent whiskey, you want to spend as much time nosing it as you do drinking it, don't you? Certainly do, certainly do. If you've seen our how to drink video, uh, how to drink whiskey video, you'll notice that we spend a lot of time on the aroma, the smell, the, even the observing the whiskey, and you just can't do that in the in this glass. Look, the lights fraction through it. You can't really view the whiskey. You can't see the legs on the side of the uh, uh, the glass. Um, you just it's ruined personally it's pointless isn't it and then when you put uh, ice cubes in there but again it, it's like uh, it's a film thing isn't it mm -hmm. you know people say the guy sat at the, the bar drinking uh, his, his whiskey from a, a tumbler like that or oh, don't put any more than three cubes of ice in it otherwise it waters down the scotch <laughs> you've knacked it the second you put ice in it anyway and when you start drinking it out of that what is the point I think people drinking out of those particular glasses are drinking perhaps Jack Daniels out of the street. You may as well be. Yeah. So, okay. should we move on to a, a different one? Um, let's try the shot glass, yeah? I'm intrigued with this one. It is a fluted design. However, it's small. Your nose is certainly going to be closer to the whiskey, that's for sure. Or in the whiskey. Something. In the whiskey. <laughs> mm. How does it make you feel? Let's have a look. It just hasn't got the variety of smells you get with the sniffing glass. No, that, that surprised me, that. Hold on, let's have a look. That's a small glass. You can see it's got a nice bevel and a taper on there. And it is concentrated. The The flavours there are much, much more so than this or, this or this. It's much more distinct. But again, you're not getting the concentration of flavour that you get from a proper fluted glass. It's amusing watching you sniff that tiny glass. <sighs> I'm not much of a glass sniffer myself, but we'll know. see. Okay. <laughs> Let me just go for one more in case I was. Yeah, it's... 
it's just lost on me that those wonderful aromas I'm getting here, I'm not getting here. Yeah. And it, and it, there's not a lot of difference, apart from you literally, your nose closer to the whiskey. It's a thicker glass, so it's not going to warm up as quick. Um, and it looks ridiculous. Yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> like say, well, these these tumbler style glasses have quite a thick base, so it's going to keep the whiskey at the temperature of the glass. So if your glass is a little bit cool, it's going to keep the whiskey cool. Um, when the whiskey comes up to room temperature, you find that you get much more fragrance from it, don't you? Sure enough. Let's, Let's try look our last one. I call it a Collins glass. A Collins glass? Yeah. Why is that? I believe they serve Tom Collins in such a glass. I don't know about that one. Cocktail. A cocktail? I wouldn't know such things. <laughs> I'm not educated in the, the old cocktails. I know you're quite partial to a mojito, aren't you? Well, you know. Again. It's much better than the larger tumblers, but there's just no distinct flavour there that you can pick out. I mean, yeah, you can. Don't get us wrong, you can pick out a couple of them, but it's just not concentrated like the fluted glass. Weaker. Yeah, well, the thing is, if you look side by side with a fluted glass, you've got quite a wide base. It's going to concentrate um, at the top into the smaller area, but obviously, as it bevels in over, it's impeding the fragrance from leaving the glass as quick, so you're getting the chance to, to breathe them in, you know? Mm. Concentrating at the top there, very nice, very nice. Now I suspect that the flavour is going to be better in the, the glass as well, mm. um, but that's probably wow. more down to the temperature of the whiskey than the actual glass itself. It could be, could be. That could be another video uh, I'm talking about the temperature of whiskey and its effect on flavour. Yeah. At the moment, we're sitting in probably about minus 10. <laughs> it is Can't... brisk out, like, isn't it? <laughs> We've tried different glasses. What's yeah. the report? Well, like I say, I would say that the fluted glass is always the best if you like to enjoy your whiskey. You know, you spend just as much time smelling it as you do tasting it if you've got a decent whiskey. Especially if you're going to be paying a premium price, and it would just be wasted in any of these glasses. Would you agree? I tend to agree. It's. Uh, for four pounds you can pick up on these glasses. Oh, next to no. I mean, and the extra enjoyment you get from it, I mean, personally, I, I really enjoy it. Definitely. You're actually drinking a quality whiskey from this glass. From these glasses, you could be drinking anything. You might as well go and buy yourself a blend. But if you don't believe us, give it a go. I'm sure most of you'll have an odd glass like this. If you can go out and invest in one of these, like you say, three or four quid. Not a lot, are they? I'd like to hear people's comments on it. Yeah, give us your thoughts. Subscribe. Hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Cheers.